So how fast it is to create these views and sheet and place views on sheet in seconds with Dynamo Java this year and let's learn how to create this from scratch. The first step is to bring the levels and to select all of the levels in project. To do that, you need to go to the selection and in this part, bring the categories node and all elements of the category node in here and let me delete this one and in here let's search for levels press l to quick access to levels and then let's plug this one in here and now you can see all of the levels that we have in our project but to make it more uh visual for ourselves let's bring the levels name out to do that let's search for level dot name now you have this node and now you can bring the or extract the level names and let's run now you have all of the level names in here the next step is to create our floor plans and our selling plans you can go to viewport and in here you can find the floor plan view and selling plan view but you can search it very easily search for floor plan here and that, then you have floor plan by level now we have this one in here we have the same node for our selling plan too let's search for selling plan by level and let's bring it here too but we can uh, let make sure to put it on manual because we want to do some modification beforehand now we can bring the elements to the input of each of these and we, they will create the floor plan and selling plan for us but uh, for me, I want to have them in order with a right name convention and not just with level one, level two, and level three. And I want to have floor plan in floor plans. And I want to have RCP keyboard in reflected selling plan views too. To do that, you need to bring, let me bring this up and now bring it down to make it more uh, neat here now we have to set our view name parameter to do that let's search for set parameter let's uh, choose the set parameter by name now we want to we have to plug the elements which are our levels in here and then we have the parameter name we can use a code block for that uh, just code block uh, let's type it view name make sure to type it right because it's a uh, it's really important now for the elements we don't need to have our elements we need our floor plans in here and let's make sure to plug this one to here and for the values we want to have the level names uh, uh, plus floor plan keyword to do that you have to do some concatenation on your strings let's uh, create a code block in here and let's say that we want to have our names like this level one floor plan level two floor plan and like that to do that just type this for example x plus floor plan dash floor plan now when you uh, your x is the level length let's uh, plug this in here now let's uh, run but before that let me freeze these to prevent from any view creation right now and now let's click run again now let's see the results in here you can see the result is really satisfying for us now we can bring the code block to the value of here and now we can do the exact thing for our selling plans do so let's control c and control v this one and for the this is the same this is the same value for both of them for but for this one let's copy and paste this again and let's bring it in here and for the elements we have to plug the selling plan views for the parameter name this is the same and for this one we need to concatenate or uh, add this rcp rcp keyboard in here and for the elements is same for level names and now we can bring the value in here and now if you unfreeze this and you will if you would run the program you will have all of the views in here i don't want to rename the corresponding levels and views 
now you can see we have all of the floor plans and we have all of the ceiling plans. But uh, the next step is how to create sheets, sheets according these names and how to drop the appropriate view to the same to the appropriate sheet. But before to do that, make sure to like this video to help me create more tutorials like this, and you can get access to all of the scripts and our all of the exercise files on our Patreon. You can find the link in the description. Before to do the sheets, let's group this to have better understanding of what we are doing in here. And for this one, this is our floor plans. I just name it FP and for the description, I don't want anything. And uh, let's do the same thing for our sailing plan. And uh, I want to name them CP and uh, I don't want any description, but for the color uh, coding, let's put the CPs on maybe orange and this is the one that we need. Now we have a note for our sheet creation which will help us in here. You can find it on Revit and you can go, you need to go to the views and in here go to the sheets and we have this one which is by name, number, title, block and views. Let's bring this in here and we need to have two of these for our floor plan sheets and for our selling plan sheets. So let's create a copy from this one and let's bring the uh, bring the inputs for this. For the sheet's name, for example, I want the level name uh, by a prefix of AFL, for example, architectural floor plan, or you can put any keyboard that you want. So for that, I want to create another code block in here which will be AFL dash plus X and X gonna be the level names from here and let's put it in here to see the results but, uh, we need to run but before that let's freeze these le uh, view creation nodes in here and in here too and let's click on run now let's see the results in here. You can see we have these names for our sheets name. And now they are great and we can do the same thing for this one for our selling plans, but with different keywords. For example, let's put it on RCP. And we can run again and see the results in here. We have the same thing in here. So we are done for the sheets names. And for example, let's plug this in here. But now we want our sheet number, which are sequential. For example, we have 101, 102, and this is a sequence. So we need to create a sequence of numbers. To do that, we are going to use sequence node. Uh, so let's bring the sequence node in here. And for this one, we can have a start number, the number of uh, a number, the number of, or the length of a number list we need. And for the step, for the start, for the start, we want to start with 101 and then let's bring it in here. And for the amount, we have to have the exact number or exact amount as the levels. So we can uh, extract the uh, list length of this one and we can input it there. So let's right click and search for list.count. Now we have this one. And now let's plug this to this. And now it will they will be linked, and this will change according to the number of our number of levels that we have. Now let's bring it in here, and for the steps, it's gonna be one. Let's press one here, and it's enough. And let's put it on step. Let's run. And now you can see the result. We have one of one, a two, one, fourteen. But for the number, I want to have a A before that number two. To be able to do that, again, we need to do some modification with code block in here. So let's create another code block in here. And let's say that we want to have A plus X. And the X gonna be our number in here. And let's click on run and the result will be something like that which will be great for us. And now we can bring this one to our sheets number. The next step is to select the title family block. So we have to have a family type 
know to be able to select a family type and I just have a, a one metric uh, family or title block so I will select that and I will plug this in here and for the views we have the views and we just need to bring them in here we have the views in here so we can bring the views to the view input from here to have the exact views to the uh, in the exact sheets and appropriate sheets that we have let's bring this in here and we are done with our floor plan and we need to do the same thing for here uh, for the sheets number we have to do the same thing again but I can copy them for example let's copy this part this part Control C and Control V and let's bring it in here and this is right and for the list count it is right again but for this one let's put it on maybe architectural select plan or whatever you want and then you can click on run and now you can see the result in here maybe let's place a dash or I don't want any dashes here let's click on run and now this is a great input for our sheet number for the family type this is the same for this one too and for the views we want to use selling plan views instead of filler plan now this is the one now let's create some groups in here to have a better understanding what is happening let's call it cp sheets and let's put it on orange too to understand the graph much better let's do the same thing for here now all of the things are uh, sorted uh, so we can start to run the script but before that let's unfreeze this to be able to create our sheets and views and now let's bring it in here and let's click on run and let's wait a little bit i don't want to rename my corresponding views now about it took about 20 seconds for 16 levels and now we have all of the floor plans selling plans and the next beautiful thing is that we have uh, all of the levels which drop which are dropped in the appropriate sheet let me close the dynamo and let's save it you will can access to the you can get access to the file on patreon let's go to one of our sheets to see the results now you can adjust the scale and adjust uh, everything you want if you want to create dashboards in dynamo you can watch this video in here too which will help you to create great dashboard from dynamo in excel i will see you on the next session